Hi, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you today? Very, very good. Um, so first off, I want to talk about the origins of the film. Um, how did the story come about? Um, well, we, uh, we had decided as a team that we wanted to do an inspirational drama. And uh, it quickly um, was decided that we would do a sports drama. And if we were going to do a sports drama, it was going to have to be wrestling because my husband was a wrestler in high school. That was his sport that, was, that he was very passionate about. And um, he'd also felt like he wanted to do it in a way that it hadn't been done before. So uh, we sort of knew that that would be the backdrop, um, high school wrestling. And we wanted to do uh, a, a film that would give people hope. And, and I'm a big fan of transformation movies and this is definitely that. And we, but we wanted to do it realistically and as authentically as possible watching someone go through um, this journey of trying to redeem themselves and hopefully people would see themselves in some way or see someone they know in some way and, and recognize their own journey and, and get hope and inspiration and the movies about second chances. So that was basically how it, how it came about. And then we just sort of drilled down and who would be these people and what would be the exact story and get more and more detailed. Awesome, excellent. And now, um, of course, you're also known for playing Joe McGuire from Lizzie McGuire. And I definitely remember you being on CNN's, your character being on CNN's top 10 TV's Moms of All Time. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say that Melinda Miller is quite different from Joe McGuire. Yeah. Um, was the plan for you to always play Melinda? Yeah, I was always gonna play Melinda. Um, so she was kind of on my mind for a long time as we were, you know, going through all the pre-production and the casting. And um, so I kind of had her on the brain, which is a good thing because when you're, when you're working behind the scenes on a project, um, there's a lot of stuff going on all the time. It's kind of wall to wall. And, uh, you know, normally when I would do a role, all I care about or think about is my job as an actress on that project. I'm not worried about other people's jobs or anybody, anybody else, just me, me, me. And on this, I couldn't be me, 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 because there were so many needs that need to be met. So I think my biggest challenge was not really playing the character as much as just making sure that I was able to carve out a space for myself um, as an actress to just give her space to come alive and, and, um, and have fun because, you know, acting is fun. Now, like, tell me your view of Melinda, both as like a performer and as someone who like wrote the character as well. Uh, well, I had, you know, we, we knew, we, we knew she was going to be a damaged person and that she was going to be uh, definitely a, an obstacle in Michael's um, home life. And, I decided um, just working on her that she had had some, I'm not gonna go into details, but she had had some events happen in her young life that had caused her to um, not really develop emotionally um, after a certain point in time. And so I always saw her as sort of this stunted, you know, girl that grew up and ended up with kids and family and being, you know, a, a woman of middle age, but still in her mind, she was 16 years old and um, frustrated that she wasn't getting her way. So but that's how I would describe Melinda, that nurturing is not something that came naturally to her because she kind of saw motherhood as, as uh, something she was dealt. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yeah. 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 No, for sure. Um, now, funny enough, you, you actually did write this film with your family, you know, and I want to know about the process of, of writing screenplay with them, especially this is that this is the second time, right? After the mooring, right. what was the difference between the mooring and then the writing for this film? Um, well, the mooring, uh, uh, wow, that was a while ago. The mooring <laughs> was, was, uh, we knew I think who we, who was playing all the parts. Mm -hmm. So that was, that kind of um, made it, uh, th that kind of, we had those voices in our minds thinking about those characters, even though we knew 
they weren't the same as the people they were playing, but we kind of knew who was going to be playing them. Uh, with Last Champion, gosh, it's just a it's just a process. They're both so different. I think mm -hmm. that um, having been through it before, we kind of knew what to expect on Last Champion as far as what the process was going to be, and so it was smoother in that way. Although, um, like we would we figured out the story and who the characters were and. And then we would drill down deeper and get into the beats and the specifics of you know the subplots and all that. But then we might take we might individually take a scene and go work on it and then come back and bring it to the group. And I would say almost always it was changed. We all would t tweak it and change it. So by the time we were done, I don't think you could really tell who we would know who wrote what, except for for sure the wrestling sequences were all Glenn because Ivy and I could not bring anything to the table as far as our, we had no knowledge of wrestling and that was his sport. So he, he had to run with that, but, um, but yeah, it was really a collaboration and, and it's fun. I mean, I, I, I kind of have to pinch myself and think this is a really phenomenal situation to be able to do this with my family and share this experience. And it is unusual and it's, it's special. I'm very Thank grateful. You so much. <laughs> I'm glad. That's really great. Thank you so much. Pleasure talking to you.